populations are some of the most vulnerable populations in any country, and in this country, and I think especially right now. And as you talked to Neftali Duran from the Westras Raices in Holyoke, who's marching with us, who came from Mexico himself as an immigrant, uh, and he is now working with food justice issues, he'll be the first to tell you that this is more than just feeding people on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a social justice issue. So the fact that we were walking so close to where Lucio Perez is having to stay, uh, because of his situation uh, and because we were invited by the church to come and to give our, uh, our love and solidarity with, uh, with Lucio at this time. We couldn't say no, we really wanted to make those extra couple steps to come and visit. Well, here we are, a brief and somewhat unannounced detour. Where our hearts are with you in the, my broken Spanish that my... Contigo, si, paro, permiso. Gracias, yo puedo ver que hay una multitud. I can really feel and see that there's a multitude of people surrounding me, and that's really what gives me the strength to keep moving forward. His situation, unfortunately, is not unique, and there are you know, countless good men and women all across this country, um, you know, who are subject to, to uh, forced deportation, and I think that's terrible. We need to, this administration has been awful on this issue, but we need to fix these immigration laws, and I'm really proud of this community for standing with Lucio. I'm proud of this church, so.